Just want to make sure. All right, guys, welcome to episode 140 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. I appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that like button, go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, we appreciate every single last one of you for coming back and vibing. If you're a first time listener, God bless. If you're a last time listener, God bless. All right, we're back. How we feeling, Johnny? It's a beautiful Tuesday. How we feeling? How we feeling? We're feeling good. Feeling good. Welcome back, guys. Welcome fucking back. Welcome back, man. It's Thirsty Tuesdays or whatever the fuck they call it. I don't care. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. I, I was drinking last right. night, so I'm drinking water. <laughs> I'll tell you that. A little bit of fine wine, white wine. Never hurt nobody, all right? I'll yeah, for real. What. Look at that bottle, bro. Oh, my God. Bring it up. Oh, yeah, Show them. No, no, no. Look how gotta, nice that is. You know what I mean? I got to... Look like he, mm. he look like he's drinking Louis the Thirteenth right now. Hey, bro, it's just some barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> just some barefoot, my guy. Some fucking, you know barefoot. What I'm saying you can make you you could class up your little fucking. You know what I'm saying you don't gotta look cheap. You know what I mean? Nah, class it up. Class it class up. Class it up a little bit. Yeah, you know what I'm bro. Saying? Class that motherfucker up, man. Hey, that's all you gotta do. My yeah, you know I don't like do. I don't like to force drink. You know what I mean? Not yeah. be able to just drink just to drink. Yeah, they drink just to force it down their throat. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm gonna get fucked up. Facts. Nah, but like I, I like to get that buzz though. I like to take mm -hmm. a shot. Take a you know I like to take shots. I ain't gonna lie to you. I like to get to that level where I'm like, all right. This is it. This is it. This is. I'm right. not gonna get any more drunk than this. Yeah, like, I like the buzz, man. I used to. I used to have that mentality though. Like I yeah. used to force shit and be like, "Yo, bro, like, why am I drinking if I'm not getting drunk?" <laughs> <laughs> For real, that used to be my mentality it's when true. I was fucking 19, 20, 21. You reached that tolerance yeah, level. Yeah, but yeah. now it's just like, bro. I'm telling you, some white wine. Or, that's it. Just give me some white wine, bro. I'll be alright. Yeah, dead ass. That's what I had last night. The hangover is pretty. Like it's light. It's not like overwhelming, so I, I definitely recommend wine. I mean, it's just it's like any other alcohol, bro. If you overdo it, if you do it too much, it's gonna fucking suck the next day. Like yeah, you, oh, you dehydrate while you sleep and shit, and then you wake up feeling dry, like fucking SpongeBob, ready to fucking go dive in a pool, of fucking water. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> swear to God, yeah, bro, that is true, man. I fucking hate that feeling, bro. Waking up and you got to do that eight hour shift of work. Yeah, after fuck a oh bad my. night or a long night. Oh my god, that's nah. so shitty, bro. You know that drive, like when you're yeah. driving there and you're it's just, just like, like, do yeah. I really need this job this bad? Yes, that comes into my mind multiple times, and I have to bring a little bag with me because I'm really light on my stomach. Like I really throw up, like <laughs> not in front of people, but I throw up like when I get home. Damn, bitch. Yeah, bro, I have a light stomach, bro. When I drink, I don't know about about you, but I, I do. Nah, I don't. It, I, if I overdo it, I'm throwing up. But like, there's. Like ninety percent of the time, ninety eight percent of the time, like I'm, I'm all right. Yeah, I mean, like I haven't done it recently, but like I think it's Maybe just because that's a sign, bitch. Your body doesn't want you <laughs> to be fucking drinking. Bro. Well, my my mom would always tell me, she's like, you're just like your father. You know what I mean? He he can fucking he, lightweight. No, he would, <laughs> he would handle his liquor, but when he got home, it was like, yeah, he's gonna go throw up. Damn. Yeah, man, nah. I'm like that. Nah, I'm Some, but recently though Like I ain't gonna it's lie It's happened of course but Yeah 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 But recently like I've been good Like I haven't really got to that level Cause it's just like I'm I'm not forcing it If yeah. that makes sense You yeah, know you what I mean You gotta let so, that shit flow man Yeah you gotta let you gotta that let shit flow You gotta let it flow You can't be forcing things out here in life You know what I'm saying Marvin uh, Yeah Like That's that's one of the, the topics we, we wanted to get into as well Is you know Don't force things You know what I mean Like right. let it flow man Let this shit happen Cause if it happens It happens for a reason And if you ever let it go and it don't come back, it's not meant to be. Yeah, if, listen, if you let it go and it don't come back, fuck it. All right? That's nah, simple. No, nah, that ass, that ass. And it's just like, that's what anything in life, though. Like, it could be relationships. It can be, um, you know, the job that you want. Or, you know, you're, you're wondering why this is not happening and you want it this fast. But you just got to let it flow. Let it happen. Listen, man, things happen on their own time. God has his own timing for everybody. Everybody's in a different path and on a different clock. You know what I'm saying? Like... Just live your life, walk your path, work towards what you really want to do in your life, and that's it. Let the chips fall where they may. And just understand that life ain't always fair, bro. A lot of the times, life ain't fair. Yeah. Like, you might work for something for 20 years, bro, and it might take you 25 years to get there, and somebody else accomplished it in four years. Like, it... Don't, but that's where people get down on themselves and they're like, damn, bro. It's like, what the fuck? It's like, bro, it, everybody's on their own time. Yeah, comparison. You know I mean? Yeah, comparison. You know, comparing yourself to somebody else 
is like your worst fucking enemy. That you know what I mean? Like you can't be doing that type of shit, bro. Because that's that's like basically what so- social media is as well. It's like you're always comparing yourself to somebody else. Yeah. Always, yeah. mentally, like just yeah, like it. Even if you don't try to do it, even yeah, if you're subconsciously doing it. Yeah, you know, like you look at somebody else's situation and then you look at yours and you're like, oh, what the fuck? But I've said it a billion times, man. Social media is uh, ninety eight percent of niggas are frauds. They're taking pictures with other niggas' cars, you know what I'm saying, at other niggas' houses and Airbnbs. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. just all a fucking front. It man. is. It's all a front. It is. And it's cool. And now but it's, it's cool, like, but it's just like, where's that really going to get yeah, you? Yeah, the though? older like, you get, yeah. it's like, bro, it's just some niggas really kill and die for clout. And yeah. it's like, what the fuck? Does clout pay your bills? I'm telling you, I've it's, said it before. I might have said it in one of the last podcasts we did. Like, there's niggas out here that are fucking broke, bro. They're lit on Instagram, lit on social media, and they sleep on couches. And yeah, and there's, yeah, that's literally the conversation me and Jay were having yesterday. I was at his house, I was at the studio, and we were talking about people rather prefer clout over the money. You know, there's people. I that don't know would, when that started happening. Yeah, well, apparently there was this artist. He was he was showing me. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the guy's name. I forgot the name, but he was literally sitting in his mom's couch, watching his hit single on MTV, sleeping on his mom's couch. Right. Right, because he, because it was the wrong contract that it's he signed. Fame, bro. People, that's crazy. The thing is, a lot of people are happy with just being known and being famous, and so that shit's not enough. And that shit's not like and you, you know. can't go nowhere without people harassing you, wanting to take pictures or talk shit or try to fight you or whatever, try to get a dollar off you. And meanwhile, you don't have a dollar to fucking get sued for. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know I mean? And like, there's a lot of idiots, a lot of people that doing stupid shit, outrageous shit, just for fucking five months of fame, bro. Like, what facts, happened to all these people? Facts. I'm gonna pull up right here. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you know, like the the fucking the island boys. You, you think these guys are going to last longer than Come five on, months? Bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. But you listen, man, at the end of the day, that's why you got to keep it real with yourself. And that's why a round of applause to T-Pain, man. <laughs> round of applause to T-Pain, bro. He keeps it real. Yeah. He shows you his downs and his ups. Look at Lil Pump. Like, T-Pain fucked around, bro, and, and got his shit repossessed. Yep. He you know did. what I'm saying? And he showed it. He could have told his girl, whoever the fuck was there. Like, his wife, I'm pretty sure, like, yo, don't record this. Like, this is embarrassing. Like, nobody needs to know about this. Nah. He was he he showed it to people. Like, yo, bro, I got my Rolls Royce repossessed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, damn, like, it sucks. But it shows you that everybody goes through similar things and people are people, bro. Yeah. Because I don't give a fuck if you got your Honda repossessed or your fucking Rolls Royce repossessed. Nobody wants to lose their car. Yeah. it's. It, yeah. <laughs> I would be fucking you know I mean? pissed Like I'm driving a Honda guys You know what I mean So like If I fucking woke up And somebody was taking my Honda I'll be fucking pissed I don't oh, no, give no, a no. Like you got a point It doesn't matter what it is it's Yeah like, it's your take, car nigga Yeah that's my mobile transportation Facts And you know what's crazy Is that people That's funny how you said that You know people put up that front People always want to put up You know their accomplishments Their mm-hmm. wins But they never want to talk About their losses They never want right. to show their losses and or just show their regular life Exactly You know what I'm saying Like show yeah. you grinding or, or show you doing something different Besides just turning up And like everything's lit You know what I'm saying Like there's yeah. a lot of different things in life Besides just that You know what I'm saying And that's great bro There's a time and a place for everything mm-hmm. There's a time and a place for you to go You know live it up And be yourself And, and just get loose for the night And dr- have a couple drinks with your friend Like there's a time and a place But Cause that ain't the first time That he's lost yeah. something Cause he, you know, he went bankrupt. He, you know, he lost all his money. He, he didn't even have enough fucking money to buy fucking Burger King or McDonald's for him and his kids. That's crazy. You Bad know? money and, management. And, it doesn't matter if you have a thousand, a hundred thousand, or a hundred million. If you don't know how to manage money, you're gonna end up broke. And that could tell you. You can grab it. You can get it all. Lose it. And look, he got it. And then he lost it all. Not bro. lost it all, but he lost something. You look know? at Mike Tyson, bro. Mike Tyson had. He was up four hundred and fifty million. And he's only worth like two now. How are you up 450 M's, nigga? You should have been a billionaire by now. You're halfway there in your fucking 20s, 30s. How the fuck do you blow $450 million, bro? That's a, that's a lot of money, bro, to just for it to just vanish like that. You know Niggas what I mean? It's money. I'm telling you, money management. That's a skill that most people don't even have. Yeah. That's a skill that pe- most people don't really even want to learn. And it's one of the most important skills in, in real life. You Not know, doing algebra. That shit ain't really going to help you much. Yeah. Unless you're going into architect career or something like that. Like, nigga, yeah. learn about how, you know, credit works and all this other shit. Like, Yeah, deadass. That's true. 
That is true. And you know what, man? There's uh, Everybody's different, man. Like, I noticed that I had a conversation with my uncle and he's like, man, like, I don't want too much money. I think, I think, I think there's, it's bad to have too much of anything. I think so too. I think so too. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like that's, it's, it's a depressing lifestyle too. Yeah. Like trying to be like the richest man on earth is a constant fucking like battle and str- like, it's just you constant put, pressure, but it's like, yeah, exactly. If you pressure. just want to be that's able good. to take care of your family and leave something, that's very, like you could accomplish that. You know what I'm saying? And, and not be out here stressing for the rest of your life or like, just like you could have money and live, live a good life. And you know what I mean? Like not be known and just be low key and pass it down to your children. And it's true. Like people need to start being more nice, man. Like I, I know I'm kind of switching the topic here, but like I. Oh yeah, you do that a lot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> it's but all it, good, Because there's something that there's something that happened to me at the grocery store. I went grocery shopping and um, and I was there, and this old lady was there, and I went to go grab the bananas, and she was like kind of shaking, and she was grabbing the bananas, and she looked at me, and she was just like, "Um, can you help me break this?" And like I was like, "Man, like." That's somebody's grandma. That's somebody's yeah, mom. Facts, that's somebody's like. Facts. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're not around. Maybe she lives in a different state. She's doing this by herself. Mm-hmm. Like that's, that's crazy. So like me and doing. We're that, all I gonna felt, get to that point too. Ex- exactly. So I felt. I felt like really good doing it. Like I felt. It was like one of those feelings that yeah, you can't nah, explain. Yeah, facts. You facts. know. So people need to start being more nice, man. You Round know? of applause to you, bro. That's yeah. a hell of a thing to do. Yeah, bro. For it's, real, man. Not for real. It, it, a lot of people don't like. I don't know, bro. And I thought she was joking at first, like, nah, you know, and, and she not. wasn't, she wasn't. Cause we're young, bro. So we don't understand how you're like, you can't break that. So, Cause it, it's so easy for us. It's so easy for you, bro. So you don't understand if, how it could be hard for somebody else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, yeah, bro, she's older and she probably, her hands don't work as well. Yeah. And she can't do it. And you know, my, my next thought was like, man, like her taking all the groceries into the car, who's going to take the groceries inside the house? And then, yeah, you like start that's, thinking, that's yeah, my facts. thought. And I was like driving away and I'm like, man, like poor, you know, I, I don't want my mom like that. You know what I mean? I don't it's want it. It's going to happen, yeah, bro. bro. It's going to happen, man. And unfortunately for some of us, it's going to happen sooner than for others, man. Like, yeah. Like I've talked about it before is having older parents and shit like that. And yeah. me, me having older parents, but that's just, you know what I'm saying? That's a worry. Like that's something because you can't be there 24 seven. Yeah. And it, and it worries you, bro. It's like, it worries you. Yeah, it does. It, yeah. It gave me, it gave me like a sense of like worry. And, and, and I was like, man, like we just got to be careful, bro. Like, you know, driving in the roads and shit, like you, you beeping at somebody, you don't know if that's somebody's grandpa, somebody's like a vet. Yeah, man. Like, like you know, like he got PTSD and you beeping at him, making him fucking trip out. Like people don't think like that, bro. Yeah. You know, I saw on the fucking, uh, on, I followed the group for Deltona, you know, and people were just like, wow, like they posted a picture of somebody swerving around like a funeral, like service. Like they had the, what do you call that? The, the, the one, the caravan yeah, there you go. Like- yeah. And they were just driving down and people were beeping at them, telling them to hurry up. They were swerving around them. I was like, bro, people don't have respect no more. That's what it is. And yeah, exactly. There's there's no respect, man. And it's just sad, bro. It's sad, but it's part of life. And you got to understand that there is respect out there. You just got you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You got to go find it. But for the most part, bro, yeah. Like people are just, a lot of people are just self-centered. Like they're just self-centered, bro. Like. They feel like where they need to head to and where they're heading to is a lot more important than what you have going on. Everybody thinks like that. Most people think like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I catch myself being like that sometimes. Where I get myself, like, I catch myself getting angry on the road and I'm like, what the fuck makes my day so much more important than that person? Yeah. But there's just sometimes, you know like, yeah, there is sometimes, like, people fucking behind me, they're in a rush. Like, you don't know what's going on. Yeah, like, you don't know what people's situation is. Like, right? maybe they're about to have a kid. Maybe somebody's dying. Maybe they got, they got that phone call, like, yo, somebody's at the house. So I'm getting robbed or something. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't know. Or so, maybe so they're I an asshole. Them, yeah. But regardless, but it's go. like, yeah. like, bro, just being a better person makes the world a better place. Yeah. Straight the fuck up. That's bottom line. Of that, shit. that ass. That is so true, bro. bro. But, yeah, bro. Yeah, brought up a good a good point, man. Don't say maybe if you want to say no. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people are that passive aggressive, bro. Where it's like they don't want to make themselves look a certain way, or maybe they don't want to make somebody else feel a certain way. But it's okay to say no. Yeah. If you don't want to do something, it's alright to be like, bro, no. Like yeah. I'm cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like cool. not. Yeah. Don't don't be a yes man either. You know what I mean? Like Fact. yeah, like like. Don't say maybe, you know, like unless the maybe is just going to be like 
for something small, like I might grab some fucking McDonald's, maybe, I don't know. It's like something small, like that doesn't matter. Okay. You can use maybe in that, but like when there's situations like serious situations, don't use the word maybe. Yeah. It's either a yes or no, bro. And if you want to say no, just say no. Exactly. Let's not waste each other's time. That's just what it is. That's, that's a big thing. Um, wasting each other's time. Cause that's all we have. That's all we, we really yeah, time have. Time is the most valuable thing, bro. So time it's is like, money. You got to get to the nitty gritty of things, man. It's, you know, like, just just be real. Be real with yourself first. Be real with yourself first, and then be real with somebody else. Yeah. Like I I, I don't know. I got a serious question to ask though. This is serious. This is crazy. This is like out the ball. This is like left field. Damn. Yeah, bro. <laughs> what would you do if you were dating somebody for like five six years? You find out she's a fucking man. Would you what kill the them? Fuck? Yeah. Would you kill them? Would you? Like, what I, would you nah, mean? Nah, nah, nah. No. I just. I feel like there would be certain things that would give it away. <laughs> no, I mean like nowadays, bro. Like nowadays, nah, uh, nah, nowadays, I don't care. bro. I don't care, bro. There's there was, always something. There was There's a, always something. Remember that model that we talked about months ago? Yeah. I didn't know. Did you talk to him? I didn't talk to him. Well, if you did, bro, you would have probably heard something that you'd be like, "Yo, dog, I don't know." Hey, hey! I told you not to touch my fucking pizza roll. <laughs> oh, like, sick. damn. Marvin? Nah, but Fuck. N- nowadays, man, like, yeah, we said Marvin. <laughs> nah, I don't know, bro, but that, that's a crazy situation to be in. Like, this motherfucker's in prison for life for that type of shit. Yeah, like, do you get off because of that? Like, just because, mean? like, let's say that you kill your partner because they, 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 they were hiding that from you for years and you, so. you, you acted on emotion. Nah, it's a difference. It's a difference. Like, if you come home and find your wife cheating and kill everybody, bro, that's like a crime of passion. But if you just, like, that's different. I don't know. I don't know how... I'm not a lawyer, so maybe if you guys are lawyers out there, you know what I'm saying, go down in the comments and let us know. Yeah, but that us. I don't know. I feel like it. You don't get off. Like it. It becomes a hate crime at that point because you killed them for. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. It would be. It becomes a hate crime. What What do you think about the the Rittenhouse situation? The the Kyle Rittenhouse or Ryan House, whatever his name is, he's going through his trial right now. I uh, have no I'm, idea about it. It's about the kid that killed those those people that were burning down the city. You remember? In, I think it was it in Portland or something like that. I'm not too sure, but the kid fucking killed. <clears throat> he was getting attacked, and he was trying to stop people from fucking destroying the city. That was when they were doing the riots, not too long, about a year ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, he killed like he killed people because like they were trying to kill him. So he's going like people are saying, "Oh no, nah, he shouldn't have crossed state line." You remember? Remember the 18 year old? He was only 18. He crossed state border. You remember that? Bro, I've never heard of this. That's why I, I'm not really going to comment on it because yeah, I have no idea what you're talking it's about. It's crazy. It's crazy. Kyle Rittenhouse. Look it up. It's like, I think we talked about it with Jay. It was, it was a long time ago when Jay was on the episode, but that's wild. He's finally going through the trial now and he started crying and shit. Like he was like, it's crazy. And people were like, the prosecutors are trying everything in their, in their fucking power to fucking take him down. And I think he's innocent. I really do. I honestly think he is. And it, when he get when he gets off innocent, people are going to go fucking crazy again. There's going to be more riots. That's what I think. Hey, happen. man, I feel like all that shit set up for that. You know, if you Facts. if you if you dive into that shit and you let your mind be controlled by that, then, you know, that's that. Like, but yeah, I, I can't comment on that. bro. I, I don't remember talking about it. I don't remember the situation. This is the uh, there was a meme that I saw that was like super true too. And it goes, Mr. Rittenhouse, why didn't you let the person trying to kill you before you decided to defend yourself? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, why didn't he saying sarcastically, like Mr. Rittenhouse, why didn't you let the person trying to kill you before you decided to defend yourself? Like, so you're saying like, he's asking, it's basically a meme saying like, why didn't you let the guy kill you before you fucking defend yourself? Cause then he was trying to fucking kill me. You know, yeah, bro. If that if that's the situation, then that, he that, should, you yeah. know, then he should get off. But like I said, I don't know enough about it. You know, they're gonna figure. It. Like the court system is gonna, they're gonna figure something out. Yeah, whether it's right or wrong, it's up to speculation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's up to what, however your feelings on what side of the fence you you fucking let us on. let us know if you think fucking Kyle's gonna make it out or not. That's a there you go, that's man. A seri- that's you a serious. Go. That's a serious topic right there. Yeah, bro. But you know, it's a fucking serious topic to me, man. Love puddles. Oh shit! I've, listen, I've been one. Listen, bro. No, I've been in I, one. I've been in one. I've been in a field. Yeah, you shit. know what I'm saying? I've created a couple. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If if y'all know what we're talking about with the love puddles, y'all go down in the comments and let us know who's created them, who's been in them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the love puddles. I'm talking shit. about squirters, baby. That's I'm what talking, I'm talking about, bro. bro squirters <laughs> and, and <laughs> squirters and nerders. You know what I'm saying? You ever like, done the Spider Man? <laughs> 
Damn. Throwing gang signs and shit. Two in the, one in the pink and one in the stank. <laughs> yeah, one in the stank or one in the pink. <laughs> Panky stank. Nah, that ass though, bro. Like, I've been I've been with a few girls, man. Where it's like we literally made a love puddle, bro. Well, one in specific, bro. We made a heart. It was beautiful. Bro. Holy shit! We made a heart. We was fucking. She squirted and shit. I kept fucking. You know what I'm saying? And when we got up from the bed, it was a hot. I oh my, swear, no, no, bro. No, I think I'm it. not playing with you. That's I took a picture of it and I sent it to her. Because I was like, now nah, we got to remember this. <laughs> <laughs> she got that picture somewhere. Oh my but for God. Real, bro, that's fucking love crazy. Love puddles, dog. The first time I seen that, I flipped out. I'm not going to lie. You thought she took a piss? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, did this girl just take a piss in the back seat? Like, what is going on? She got real quiet. You know what I mean? And I was just like, I, I got out the car and I saw a big ass stain in the middle of the couch. Like, not the couch, but in the back yeah, seat of the car. Bro, she busted a few nuts. And that bitch was leather. It wasn't like, you know what I mean? So yeah, it was, wasn't a stain, but it was like a little puddle, man. A little fucking uh, moist. Yeah, it was moist up in here, man. <laughs> and yeah, we never saw each other again after that. Bro, no, we did, but... You know, we just you know, went our separate ways. The world. Yeah. That's the way life goes sometimes. That's fucking wild. I'm pretty sure, like, there's people out there that, you know what I'm saying, like, the best sex they've ever had in their life, they only saw a person, like, one time. Yeah, and I always fucking think about, like, my dirty fucking sneaky links. <laughs> like, the sex, how good it is when I'm fucking somebody else. You ever done that before where you fucking somebody, but you thinking about somebody else? I've done it. Damn. Because their pussy yeah, wasn't good? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. it's bad, though. Like, you, yeah. I stop fucking with girls when it gets to that point. It's like, I'm bored of you now. Like, if you don't make me come and I'm hitting you raw, there's yeah, something wrong. That's, yeah. Maybe there's something wrong with you. I don't know. I don't think I don't so. Know. Because it's different for different people. Yeah, but what if if it's like, you know, you got to look at the ratio. If you fuck three girls and out of all three girls, you couldn't bust, then there uh, might be something wrong with you. Man, I must be super <laughs> Captain Hard. Hard skin, bitch. Instead of foreskin, call me hard. Nah, but nah, that's wild, man. That's wild. It's happened to me a lot. But there was a lot of girls that made me come in like three seconds. I'm not even playing with you. There was one time oh, I had, a few. Yeah, and yeah. with a condom on. Because they can control their pussies, bro. On how like yeah, no, they got mu- like you know how we can move our muscle, fucking dicks up and down yeah, and shit. They the can muscle, fucking do that shit. They got that muscle pussy. like fucking like control. You yeah, know what I'm saying? there's muscle control. They got down there. so like if you some go, know how to use it, some don't. Some women, if you know how to use it, I'm gonna tell you what. You call that monkey grip, and that's and that's in a round of applause. Like I, I love you forever. Like there was that's one, all. I had to take Just, a break. It was embarrassing. Like I really like put a condom on. I fucked it. You ever busted a nut and kept going? No. What? Oh no. Nah. nah nah bro. Yeah. Yeah, I never done that. I busted a nut and said, fuck it, bro. I'm, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna beat this shit. I'm not up. playing with nah, you. Nah, for real. Nah, that ass. I'm not playing with you. Five minutes in, I'm like, oh fuck. And then I'm like, I'm not even gonna say shit. Nah, bro. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, baby. Give me a second. Let me recharge. Give me five minutes. Oh, so you you go limp when she buzz? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Damn. It, I feel like it depends. But it takes on a while girl. for me to bust. But I'm saying, but when that happens, I'm like, oh man. Like I'm Damn. I'm down and out right now, baby. I might have to take it. You go to sleep, you take it down. Yeah, like you know Damn, what I mean? bro. Like, why are we so fucking like I we're like that, bro? We're I don't so know. fucking lazy but when it women, comes to that shit. Women can get fucked and just walk around the house like nothing too. Get to clean it, yeah, cooking, uh, you know, whatever. Ain't shit for them. Yeah. You know what like, I mean? Look at this fucking bum ass. If it's nigga. late at night, then they'll go to sleep. You know, what I mean? I'm talking about like during the day and shit. Like they could yeah, just yeah. continue. No, like, I need like, my nap. Yeah, yeah, I need my nap. Especially if we fucking at night, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna roll over. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do the. Yeah, yeah. I usually uh, fuck, go to sleep, wake up, and fuck again. You be doing that? Yes. Oh yeah. Like right. I'll fucking I'll fuck, go yeah. to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Wake oh, up at three yeah, in the morning and, and hit yeah, again. Yeah, I woke her up in the middle of the night. She's like, no, nah, no. Nah. I was like, shut the fuck up. Like, nah, bro. I'm smack her around a little bit. You know what I mean? Nah, I'm just playing with y'all. Joker, 15 yeah. seconds, no more, no less. You know yeah, what I mean, bro? Mom? Nah, man. But I, re- I didn't realize how important it is to fucking, you know, give your girl head. Nah, bro. You got to be good with that foreplay, man. What does it mean when a girl doesn't want you to give her head? That you're not good at it? Well, I've never done it with her, so how would you know? She's probably had a bad experience. That's not, bad. bro. You know, you'd be surprised how many niggas. Bro, look, man. You gotta be gentle, Marvin. A lot of niggas don't be gentle, bro. Well, I'm shit. telling you, I've been told. Yeah. Like, bro, you gotta take your time. You gotta yeah. know how to do the shit. Yeah, yeah. Some niggas just go in there, fucking. You know what I'm saying? Like finger first, then dick second, nigga. No mouth, no nothing. And it's just like, bro, like she wants to be turned. She wants to be pleased, just like you want to be pleased. You want some good head, right? Yeah. 
Facts. It's the same thing, bro. And some girls need you to gotta work reciprocate on that. that shit. So, I promise you, bro. The best head I've ever had is from girls that I gave good head to. You want some bomb head, my nigga? Give her bomb head for about fucking five ten minutes, bro. Straight up, just give that, her bomb that's head. Tr- bro. That's true for me, but like, I really didn't start eating pussy till later, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah, so like later, everybody's different, yeah. bro. But so ain't nothing wrong with that. So some girls just enjoy giving a head too. Like you know what I mean? Some I met, girls do. Some met, girls don't. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I met a girl. I didn't meet a girl. I, f- I fucked her. I didn't actually fuck her. Actually, she gave me fucking head mm-hmm. only. Mm-hmm. I was. She wanted me to fuck her, but I just never did. The first time we ever hung out, she was on her period, so she gave me head, and I was like, "Wow, this is the great experience I've ever had in my life." Every weekend, she'll come over and just like give me head. And I just never fucked her, and my boys would be like, "Bro, you." How you not fuck her? Well, that that just comes down to like, just like, nigga, I'm already getting my nut off, so I don't have to do much. Ex- you know that's where I was at. Yeah. I get that. Yeah, and I then get she that. like, then she just like. But there's times else. where I'm like, nah, bro. Like, there's times where I'm like, nah, bend your ass over. Like, I'm getting head, and I'm like, yeah, turn around, bend over. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Facts. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. I don't give oh, a fuck. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Especially if you're, you know, you're good looking. I'm attracted to you. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, nah, bro, but nah, that's that's a uh, hey. Listen, guys, at the end of the day, you want to hear more conversations like this? You want to yeah. get fucking high with us? You want to smoke and hit fucking dabs and all that shit? We're gonna start doing that shit on Patreon. All right, so round of applause. Finally, it's been a long time coming. My dog's over there eating some berries. You know what I'm saying? Over here, fucking drinking some berries. It's good and, for your uh, health. It's good for your health. All right, stay healthy, guys. And uh, but yeah, nah, man, I'm excited. About this Patreon thing And I, th- I feel like it's going to be a great thing for the channel It's going to be a great thing for the real The true supporters Because y'all are going to start seeing a whole different side man I'm telling you we're going we gonna to brainstorm And we're going to have some lit shit on yeah. Patreon bro. Yeah. If you want to smoke with us You want to you wanna, you wanna get yeah. lit with us And you want to see a crazy side Go ahead right. and get, get on Patreon Because on this channel like Unfortunately guys for those of y'all that are smokers And this and that like we're we're gonna dead that on on Dope Talk TV on YouTube, all right. So if if you want to fuck with us for real and and, and take some dabs, we're gonna bring dabs, the rigs out. We're gonna dabs, show you all rigs, this. edibles, all types of shit. Well, we're gonna get turned over there. You Different know what I'm reviews saying? and shit. Yeah, like, like yeah, like shit gonna get it, crazy. It's gonna be nice, man. It's gonna be lit. So y'all y'all go ahead and uh when we get that ready, man, y'all follow that. We'll put in the link in the description and all that shit. We'll get that shit set up soon, guys. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, guys. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the like button. Go down in the description. Get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And remember, go to Patreon when we get it, man. For real, we're going to keep telling y'all. We're going to keep telling y'all every episode until we got it up. But remember, it's coming. If you really want to support, you know what I'm saying? Patreon is the way. Patreon is the way. But we appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one. Tell somebody you love them. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.